Hi guys, welcome back to Riddler Gaming. Today we're having a look at Proteus by Ed Key and David Kanaga. This game is an exploration game. Um, you wander around an island. It won the best audio in 2011 at Indiecade. Uh, Indie um, and yeah, it's very, very pretty. It's very, very good music. It's very ambient, which is the kind of game I like, so we're just going to jump right in and have a look at it. This game has been in beta for a long period of time. Like it's It's been kind of looked forward to by a lot of people. Um, obviously from 2011 to, through to 2013 it's been in alpha and beta. And the full release is today, I believe. Um, which is pretty cool. It's going to be out on Steam. Um, but yeah. So we're going to have a wander around the island. Um, as the letters fade away into black. Uh, hopefully you guys can hear that my mic is better now. I've managed to sort out all my audio problems and now every time I say an S your head won't get blown off with feedback. So here we are. We start off kind of shipwrecked and marooned off the island. Uh, the sun in the sky, the blue ocean all around us and we're going to go towards the shore. Uh, as you can notice the sound effects are really nice. There's some water, hopefully you can hear that. And yeah, it's very pretty. You can see the cherry blossoms in the in the distance there, getting closer and closer as we get closer to the shore. The art style reminds me quite a lot of um, Okami for some reason. Maybe it's just the cherry blossoms. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's just the cherry blossoms, but that's what it reminds me of anyway. So here we are on the beach. I quite like the the minimal input of this game. You kind of just you you click down on your mouse and you go forwards. You can go backwards if you right click. And you just look around. You can see all the trees are moving, rustling in the wind. This game has different seasons. Uh, this one is currently spring, I believe, when you start the game. Um, as you can see by the cherry blossoms and the gravestones are all over the island. It's a lovely place to lay someone to rest, I guess, looking over this beautiful shore. But it's gorgeous, as you can see, and the music's coming fully all these great sound effects and it changes as you go higher up the mountain or you go to different places. Um, the island is randomly generated I believe so every time you load the game something new will happen and yeah it's just nice to have a wander around it's very relaxing it's just nice to come and chill out I like it anyway so as you can hear as we get higher up the, uh, the mountain the music has changed you can hear the wind and we can look over the uh, the whole of the, the island, really. Although some of it is a bit foggy. So what's this down here? Something sparkling, and the music changes, and the sound effects change as we get nearer to it. Oop, and off it goes. So there are other creatures on this island with us. Very, very strange. You can imagine what kind of things must be around. Just get closer, and off he goes again. It's like a mushroom rabbit. There's a grave on top of on top of a mountain. I like to think this would be a hero, a great hero of the land that fell. Fell saving the uh, the country. And was given pride of place on top of this mountain. To look over it. That's just me. So down we go. Back into the, the verdant green. But yeah, it's, it's gorgeous this. I really like it. But it's quite easy to kind of lose yourself and just, you know, lose how much time you've spent chasing this weird thing around or just wandering around. Trying to see what secrets are hidden away in this world. Oh, there's a green one over there. I have not seen that before. It's like a frog. Just wander towards him and see what the difference, see what he does. Oops. <laughs> I love the different sound effects. Oh, we found a path. Is this a path? Dunno, should we follow the path or should we go... I want to go down here, look at that. And as you can see, dusk is setting. Night is coming in, it's drawing closer. See a mountain over there with something on top. I don't know what that is, and I want to go find out. So we are going to wander over there. 
I'm not sure like quite how large this world is, or how large the island is, but it's relatively sizable from what I've seen, which is great. I mean, it's, there's plenty of time to explore and plenty of land to explore. I'm really enjoying this. Just chase the, uh, chase the inhabitants around. Oh, there's the sun setting over there. Just watch it go over the crest of that hill. Under the crest of the hill, sorry. Yeah, there's like, seems to be like various different biomes and things. I'm looking forward to seeing all the different seasons come into place. So I'm going to try and climb this. And you can see the stars in the sky just starting to appear. There are some fireflies there. The sky is filling up slowly with all the stars as we get close to the top of this mountain. We should be able to get a pretty good view, I think. And here we are, it's another grave. It's kind of morbid, that, actually. <laughs> Where is it, Grave? Where is it? I don't know what this is. It's like a, maybe just like a landmark stone? It's making weird sounds anyway. Or is it just, is it like a pipe or something? Oh. It's pretty cool. Anyway, it's night time now. There's some constellations in the sky. The Milky Way, maybe, overhead. It's a very clear night, there's not a cloud. Not a cloud in the sky. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. This game is available to buy on the website, which I'll put in the description as ever. Um, it's about $7 at the moment, I think. I think it's going up to $9.99. It's going to be on Steam. You get the soundtrack with the game if you buy it on Humble Bundle, which is the link that I will put in the description. And the soundtrack, as you might expect from listening to it in here, is phenomenal. Um, and yeah, I think that's all I'm going to say about this. It's brilliant. I really, really like it. Um, if you're not a fan of games where you don't really have an aim, or you're just wandering around, then maybe steer clear. But I'm a big fan of artistic style games, and I like having some way to escape. It's very, very good to, to escape into and have your own time. So yeah, uh, that's the video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and all that jazz, and I shall see you all next time. Thanks guys, bye.